Hey guys, it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. In today's nail art tutorial, April and I will be showing you five different ways to create the trendy baby boomer nail look. If you've never heard of the baby boomer design, it's essentially a white to pink ombre. It's a softer take on the classic French manicure. So let's begin. The first way we're going to show you is with builder gels. Begin by prepping your natural nail bed. Buff the nail until it's matte and you've removed all the shine. Then get rid of any dust by wiping with rubbing alcohol. Apply your primer and wait one minute until it's completely dry. After that, apply your base gel and cure it in a UV lamp for one minute. We're going to sculpt these nails by attaching a paper form to them. Create the tip of the nail with the milky white builder gel. Cure and apply the second coat. Be sure to spread the gel on the nail with a brush to create a smooth transition. Cure for one minute and then remove the paper form. Next, apply the translucent pink builder gel from the cuticle to the tip. Cure for another minute and then wipe away the tacky layer using rubbing alcohol. Now it's time to file the tip to your desired nail shape. Be sure to remove any bumps from the top of the nail. Wipe off any dust and apply your top coat. The first method is complete. The second way to create baby boomer nails is with acrylic. Prep your natural nail in the same way as in the previous method. So after you've buffed the nail and removed the dust, attach an acrylic tip onto the nail. Smoothen the transition of the natural nail to the plastic tip by using a file and remove any dust. Apply your primer and wait one minute again. Now it's time for the acrylic. Apply some white acrylic on the tip and direct it to the center of your nail. Then apply pink at the cuticle and create a smooth transition into the white. Add more white if needed to create the perfect ombre. Now apply clear acrylic to the entire nail and let it dry for three minutes. File the bumps and shape the nail. Almost done. You just need to remove any dust and apply a top coat for shine. The second method is complete. For the third method, we're going to be using colored gels. Similarly, you can use just regular nail polish for this method too. Begin with two coats of a beige gel or a regular polish. Then create an ombre using either a sponge pen like this one or a makeup sponge dipped into regular white or white gel polish. Cure if you're using gel. Go back in with the white to make the ombre more seamless. Finally, apply your top coat to finish blending it all together and add a beautiful shine. The third method is complete. In the fourth method, we're going to be using gel polish again, but this time with a special ombre brush instead of a sponge. Apply a beige gel polish on one half of the nail and then white on the other half. You're going to want to blend these two colors together. Brush from side to side like so. Cure in a UV lamp. Then repeat these steps one more time for a seamless ombre. Now it's time to apply your top coat and cure. The fourth method is complete. For our final method, we're going to be using this super cool airbrush. We're going to fill it up with some white gel paint. 
We've already applied a beige gel to the entire nail and cured it, plus added a cuticle barrier around the edges of our nails. So now it's time to use the airbrush filled with the white gel paint. Apply the first thin coat of paint like so and cure it in a UV lamp. Again, we're going to perfect the ombre by applying a second coat like so and then curing it. Finish off with a top coat to seal in your design and add a beautiful shine. The fifth method is complete. Guys, let us know down in the comments which method you believe created the best baby boomer set of nails. We'd love to know what you think. If you'd like to watch more awesome nail art tutorials here on Cute Polish, click these boxes here. Subscribe to Cute Polish for a new video every week by clicking this circle, and be sure to check out April's personal nail channel by clicking this circle right here. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time!